Hi friends, it's Mari Clark here for Honey Bee Stamps. Today I'm going to be creating a card with a really adorable Happy Plants stamp and coordinating die set. I'm going to start off my project today by doing a little bit of mixed media on a piece of Ranger mixed media cardstock. I'm using some Distress Oxide speckled egg ink. I've put a little bit of that ink onto my glass mat. I'm just going to activate it with a little bit of water and I'm going to pick up that ink onto my cardstock here as you can see just by dabbing that paper into the ink. I'm going to dry that and then I'm going to show you also how you could do virtually the same type of thing with your Distress Oxide spray. So what I'm going to do now is just show you how I'm going to use my Oxide spray on that paper by spraying the paper with water first, then spraying the Oxide spray into the water. Now I'm just going to spray a little bit more of that pigment and I'm just going to mess around now adding water and spray into onto my cardstock just to create this really pretty mixed media background using that gorgeous speckled egg ink and spray. So there you can just see now I'm going to dry that up. Now I'm going to add a little bit of antique linen oxide spray as well. So adding the water, adding the pigment, then adding some water again. I'll just move the paper around to let that pigment move around on my paper. I'll use my paintbrush to move the pigment a little bit as well. And then after each new color, I just dry that to finish it off. Now I'm going to use the Swirling Leaves A2 cover plate from Honey Bee on that mixed media background just to add a little bit of texture and once I've done that I'm also going to cut out a really nice stitched frame by using the A2 double double stitched frame die. So there you can just see how nice that finishes up our mixed media background. Now to add a finishing touch I'm just going to splatter with some white product here. This is some Dina Wakely white gloss spray just splattering with a paintbrush just to create a little bit more texture. Now I'm going to stamp out my images with my Honey Bee Stamps Intense Black Ink. I'm stamping that out using my Mini Misty here onto some White Nina cardstock and I'm going to co color those with Copic markers off camera. This is my A2 top folding uh, card base here and I've also used my uh, Sweet Stacks rectangles to cut out a mat for my card here. So love that die set. It's just really fantastic. So I've cut my uh, mat out of some teal cardstock and now you can just see how nicely my mixed media piece is going to fit on top of that. I'm going to add some uh, foam tape here, some foam adhesive to the back of that. And what I like to do this, the reason why I like to add this, not only because it adds dimension, but it will also flatten out that card panel that's just slightly warped from the water. And this uh, foam adhesive will just flatten that out beautifully and I won't have any more warping on my paper. Now I'm going to add that onto my teal cardstock and I'm going to take my Honey Bee uh, Precision Tip Glue bottle here and I'm just going to add a little bit of adhesive to my teal cardstock and then adhere that all to my A2 size card base. Now I'm going to take the coordinating dies for that happy plant set and I'm going to die cut all of these images that I've colored up here. You can see got those all finished with my Copics and I'm going to just tape those dies down and die cut those out. Now I'm ready to create my little scene on the front of my card and to add just a tiny little bit more um, dimension I'm going to add these onto my mixed media card front with a little bit of foam adhesive adhesive here. So you can just see I'm using my honeybee tweezers to help me get those placed onto my cardstock exactly where I want them. And I just love this set. I think it's just really modern and really fun. I love these happy plants. I think that they're so cute and yeah, just totally on trend for sure. So love those. I'm just going to get the backing off of that foam adhesive there and get that plant in place into the pot. And just going to grab that and make sure I have that stuck down well. I'm going to add a little bit of liquid adhesive onto the back of the little plant stand here for this second pot. And I'm going to adhere that onto the pot with that liquid adhesive. And then I'll add the foam adhesive onto the back of the pot and add that onto my little scene here for my card. Getting those backers taken off there and I will place that just beside the other plant. These could have been overlapped for sure but I just left a tiny little bit of space in between them just trying to center them from side to side so that we have them nicely centered. I'm going to add that cactus into this pot as well. I love how this stamp set allows you to just sort of like build 
whatever type of plant uh you know, assembly or grouping that you want. It's really fun. Now I'm going to add a little bit of sparkle and shine to my project with a little bit of clear uh, sparkle pen and just adding that to the plant, uh, the plants and also the little pots that the plants are in just to create that little bit of extra bling. Now I'm going to use the Rooting For You stamp uh, set. That's the this really fun sentiment set. And I'm just going to add the Sending Hug sentiment onto my card. I have that stamped out with my black ink and I've die cut that out from the coordinating die for the Rooting For You set. I love that the uh, set has a coordinating die set that you can get to cut out those sentiments as well. I'm going to place that at the top of my card and that is going to finish my card off today friends. Thank you so much for joining me. I have linked up to all of the products that I used in my project today in the description box below. Have an amazing day friends and I'll see you soon. Bye bye. <laughs>